For the Make Code Minute this week, I wanted to show that you can use the Trellis M4 inside of maker.makecode.com, which is fantastic. This, I only recently realized, is a, is a beta extension, and I'm using the beta of maker.makecode. And what I'm using it for in this case is to set some different color strips of LEDs on the Trellis M4 and play back different musical tones when I press the buttons. So you'll hear... So here's how this works inside of Make Code. You'll see I just have two loops going on. One is my start loops. So this is all the setup. In here, you'll see I am setting up a NeoPixel strip to have separate ranges so that I could run these very neat little gradient commands on the four rows that I have. And they each have eight buttons, so there's eight columns. And then you'll see I'm creating a little array that's gonna be used to play my different musical notes. Then I have another array that I'll use to multiply those frequencies for the different rows so that I get four different octaves. Then in order to essentially scan through the button rows and find which button is pressed, I have this. First, I loop through an index of the different rows, and then I loop through an index of the different columns. And for all of those, we check and see, is a keypad button pressed at that current index? If it is, then I find out the current color of that button to store that as a variable for later so I can put it back. Then I set that button to white so it shows me that it's been pressed. I play a tone and what I'm doing is grabbing from the array of notes that I already made and multiplying it by that array of octave multipliers. Then I pause for uh, 100 milliseconds so that sort of helps me with debouncing. And then finally we set the color back to where it was. And so that is how we can create a little button interface using the Trellis M4 inside of maker.makecode.com. And that is your Make Code Minute.